Hello everyone, it's Lottie from Enjoying the Journey, Cancer as a Lifestyle. Man, I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday. I just did like good half of this video and my one of my cats just came on and just ruined all everything I taped. So here we are, take number two. Let's start this over again and hopefully I have enough uh, juice in this um, you know, camera to finish the video. So let's start take two, you guys. And hopefully Savannah will not come in uh, and my fur baby and, you know, start walking back and forth in front of this camera. So anyway, I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday. Um, I am trying to play catch up. This is already December 26th and I am so behind you guys. I have rarely been on this month. As you know, I have been sick for a good portion of the month. And I've just been existing, going, getting up, going to work, coming home and going to bed and getting up and going to work and back and forth. I have not uh, fully been restored to full health yet. So you have to excuse me as I take a sip of my tea. Anyway, so I wanted to show you a couple things. I have a requested blanket uh, for someone and I finally finished it. This was my second take on it. I made this blanket twice. And I, I know I've mentioned in the past, let me show you part of this blanket. Um, it is in the corner to corner. I have made a blankets, a request to blankets. I just, you know, reach over and grab the yarn that speaks to me because this is a blanket made for someone in particular. And I let the color speak to me. And it has worked tremendously where people love their colors. This blanket, as you can see, was coming out very vibrant. And I thought, I don't know. Man, these colors are just too much. I don't know if the person will like that. It might be too much. Um, and the first one had a lot more orange and red in it. So I decided to just put it away for charity uh, and I said let me start over again and Lord and behold it started coming out in red and yellows and oranges again it's almost like a replica so here I have been taught a lesson now twice I've done this in the past that this blanket is not for me it doesn't matter if I like the way it's coming out this blanket is for someone else and they're gonna love it because it's theirs. So I am packing this off. I'm done. This is one section. I'm just showing you sections of it one more time. Uh, this is going to be going. It's very heavy, heavy blanket, heavy winter blanket. I am going to be taking this, delivering this to the individual um, real soon. Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, within the week and a half, um, hope to do this within the week and a half, uh, meet up and um, drop it off by them. I, again, I've, I mentioned this several times. If you have someone who is in need of a blanket uh, and you would like me to make them one, they do not have to have a health issue or a financial issue. Or Sometimes uh, we just need a pick-me-up that somebody loves me, that somebody cares about us. So please email me, let me know, and I will make a blanket and mail it out or deliver it uh, myself. All the cost to me, um, uh, feel free to do so. Excuse me, I am sorry. I am parched. Uh, Christmas Eve is when my family and I celebrated. My kids were over, and my son um, sent me a picture. Uh, he went to the gym. And they had a Christmas tree where they were collecting items, uh, winter items, uh, for charity. And people were putting it on the Christmas tree, like hats, gloves, you know, cowls, that sort of thing. And he asked if I had anything that I would want to uh, contribute, uh, you know, that he can bring in. And um, so I said, you know what, son, let me see what I can make. It is Saturday. Uh, let me see how many hats I can make that you can bring in on Monday. Now, mind you, we had Christmas Eve, excuse me, dinner, and then yesterday I went to work. But I did manage to make four hats, and quite nice, thick winter hats. Um, this is one of the puzzle yarns in the purple. I can't remember. It's not backgammon. 
Oh, I can't remember what it is. It's one, this is the first time I've actually worked with this color. Uh, I, I think Terry, somebody sent me some scrap of it. I'm not sure if it was Deb from One More Whip. They sent me a ball of it. Or if it was Terry uh, from Nana's Crochet Idea. I like to make the hats lately in the uh, back loop. Uh, so it comes out uh, like a rib effect. So there's one. Uh, the others are done in chunky. This is navy blue. And and I had one sh and like a long strip of black on the back. Because I ran out of the navy blue. And then I had some chunky what I call cocoa brown. And very nice and thick. I just got finished washing them. Took them out of the dryer. Um, and here's another in the cocoa. Very nice and thick. So there's four hats right here that are going uh, to my son's um, gym for the Christmas tree as a donation. That's about all that I could do. I also worked on all the plarn that I received, all the plastic bags that I received from my plarn. I made my balls. Um, Terry sent me like two boxes. My son brought me a whole bunch. And then, you know, there's Christmas bag, you know, from Christmas shopping. I have a computer desk there that I have. It's piled high with um, with plastic balls right now. So I'm gonna. I think I might be able to get another uh, mat and a hat half out of it. So that will be done. So my other thing is uh, Terry. If you remember, I did one video this month on my Advent. Um, 25 days of Advent that Terry put together for me so I could experience the joy of doing opening up um, you know um, yarn for 25 days um, I only did the first seven and um, that was the end of that I got sick and I didn't do any videos I have not opened up any more since then so I am um, going to show you the other 18 now, originally, I was uh, thinking of, I was kind of stuck between doing a shawl out of this, and la I laid it out accordingly the way that I pulled it, and those are the colors that I'm going to be using, that color scheme, um, and I think I'm going to be working on a shawl. I have no idea what kind of shawl. I mostly have ombre shawls um, of one solid color, but they're ombres. I don't really have a multicolored, and these are very vibrant colors here, and that's something I don't really have in my in my stash for um, for shawls. So this will be quite a different shawl, you guys. So I am looking forward. I am quite looking forward to seeing how this will progress and how it will look. So let me uh, open this up for you guys and show you. Um, all of this is a DK weight. Uh, the, they vary between the little stubbies from Hearts on Fire or from Vicky Brown designs. So there's, this is, I believe, number eight. And it's very nice. This is actually the shade that it's coming out. Although I do think that there is a little bit of blue in here. I'm not sure. But I see something. Little streaks, but very pretty. So the other ones that I pulled earlier were ombre shades of yellow. There is a lot of yellow and green ombres in this mix. Day 9 is a, this is the Hearts on Fire. No, this is the Vicky Brown designs. And this is one of the ombres in yellow. Number 10 is another shade. Of the Vicky design, Vicky Brown designs in the yellow. Now I have quite a few of these, like I said. Uh, 11, it has more of an orangey yellow. Then, now mind you, I already pulled this, did a video, and my cat started to acting up and just displaying her behind in front of the camera. I mean, all you saw was her behind you guys. It was terrible. And this is the uh, DK Weight Hearts and Fire Little Stubbies. And I believe this one is like a minty color, very pretty. So as you can see, these are going to be a very vibrant shawl, but I think it's something that I haven't really made for myself yet. So I don't know the decide. Here's another color. 
I don't know the design that I am going to choose. Here's it. I have thought of maybe like a summer poncho, like a mesh poncho. Um, that's not really a huge uh, poncho, but maybe I, I think there's enough in there to, you know, to, you know, uh, do like a poncho that I can wear in the summer over a dress or something. I'm not sure. I have to look around. And if you guys have any suggestions for a shawl or for a, a something like that, please let me know. Here's another color. And then I have nice little blue. Now I have these laid out exactly the way I pulled them, so I'm going to number them. Here's some, and there's some. These have a little bit of white in them, too. So please give me your suggestions of what I do. Here's another one. Here's another one. Now, mind you, this is not exactly how I had planned to do my advent. Not at all. This is a nice little um, light pink. I was going to do this every day and then I was going to start working on something adding it on every day. But now with this situation with my being sick and the month is last week of, of December I like that color. That I have decided that I am going to be participating this month in the 12 cast ons that Yarn and Yarns Angela does every year and I am going, this is going to be one of the items that I'm going to be working on, will be the shawl, which I will show you guys once I am making the um, yarn and yarn, the, um, oh my goodness, the 12 cast-ons. We will see what they are. So there is one more color, and then this is for the 25th. She did tell me to open this up last. She did not mark any of the others for the days, but she did mark the 25th. So I am going to be opening this up. Ooh, oh, oh, whoa. So this is Hearts on Fire. Hearts of on Fiber. Oh, DK also. Look at the pretty color. So this would be the final color. Probably the whole, um, almost like a border. Wow. I think I have enough for a nice shawl with this. So... Yeah, guys, give me a lot of suggestions so I can, you know, make something really cool. <laughs> a nice shawl for myself. I do have instructions uh, from Terry that um, she did tell me. She sent me a Christmas card with it also. Uh, but she did tell me also that she would love to see me make something for myself. And uh, so, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to be working on. So, you guys, that's all I got for you. My throat is starting to hurt. My mouth is dry. I need to wrap this up. Um, yeah, so um, please give me some suggestions. Uh, I have a couple of deliveries that I got to make, but I'm not sure when that's going to happen because it is a holiday week. And um, it's hard to get in contact with people uh, when they're away for the holidays. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I shall see you at New Year's or, you know, with my 12 cast downs. Yeah. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and being patient and, um, yeah, and have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.